Angular does a great job at helping you get started and scale out your application, but what if we could do even more by reaching into the world of deployments? My name is Stephen Fluen. Today on Demos with Angular, I want to show you the way that the builder APIs are allowing teams like Angular Fire to build on top of our CLI and integrate features like build and deployment into a single command. So with version 8, Angular is releasing a set of new builder APIs. So in the same way that schematics allow you to tap into commands like ng-generate or ng-new or ng-add or ng-update, the builder APIs actually allow you to tap into either existing commands like build, test, serve, or as well as create custom commands. And so I'm gonna show you how Firebase is using these custom commands. So first we're gonna actually install some cool new tools into our app project. So let's go ahead and run ng add at angular slash fire and we'll install the next version. So what this is doing is this is just doing a standard angular fire installation which should behind the scenes also install the Firebase that we need. Uh, if it doesn't install Firebase, we need it. So actually did install Firebase, so we should be all set there. And now what it's asking is it's asking me to connect this workspace into a project. So this is the same that you'd see when you ran Firebase init. So let's connect this up to a example project. And now what it's doing is this is all just running under the hood the same commands as Firebase init, but using our knowledge of how Firebase should be configured. So let's go ahead and take a look at what it did here. So if we look at the Firebase RC file, we can see here is the connection to the backend. If we take a look at our Firebase.json file, we can see that we've configured this as a single page application with the redirects to the index that we would expect, the appropriate ignores, it already knows where my dist folder is. And if we look at our Angular JSON, we'll notice that it has within my, my app project registered a new builder. So we have the normal uh, build command, we have our normal serve command, and we're gonna see a new command here called deploy. And so this is using the Angular Fire Deploy Builder. And so the power here is that when I run ng run my app colon deploy, so my app is the name of the project in the workspace and deploy is the name of the command, we're actually going to be doing both the build, so using the ng build dash dash prod with all the settings that we recommend from Firebase, and then it's gonna be doing the deployment to Firebase hosting at the same time. So all of this in one single command, which should very, very quickly have my application from my local environment built into a production manner and hosted on the web, which is really cool that you can do all of that basically in two commands, one to add Firebase to your project and one to build and deploy. So now we can actually visit this URL and we will see our application live on the internet in a way that we can share with others. In another video, I will cover a little bit more about how to use these builder APIs and how to create your own builders but that's gonna be it for this video. We've now seen how Angular Fire is taking advantage of these new builder APIs that exist in the CLI to give you an integrated build and deployment, making your life just a little bit easier. Thanks and stay tuned for other 8.0 videos.